Ok, happy to see you here on my channel, higher mathematics, really interesting challenge, 2 to the power 16 minus 16, and we need to simplify this, we need to find our answer. And of course, I don't want you to use your calculator right here, let's use our super brain and let's try to solve it with our algebra, uh, algebra tricks, I will show you these tricks, uh, great tricks right here, and we will solve it without any calculations, it will be really interesting, and we will solve it without any telephone. But before solving this, I want to say thank you for your support, if it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment, positive or negative, does that matter? It, it it helps me a lot and it keeps my channel alive. Thank you and let's try to let's try to solve it. First of all, we have all different no we have like 16 and 16. Okay, but we have different bases, 2 and 16 different bases, and we cannot like uh, simplify this with the bases. We need to know about identity formula because right here we have like we have like 16, we have like first power, let's try to create difference of squares. We have we have subtraction, so let's try to create difference of squares. And for this we need to create square from this one, let's do this. So instead of this 2 to the power 16, let's write 2 to the power 8 to the power second. Okay, so right now we have square right here and minus 16. Everyone know about this value because this is like a classic case, this is 4 square. So this 16 we write as for square. So nothing changed for us. If you know if, if you're talking about a formula right here, if you have like a to the power x raised to the power y, we will have like a to the power x times y. So from here we change nothing because we will have like 2 to the power 8 times 2, which is equal to 2 to the power 16. So nothing changed for us. Okay, let's try to know, let's try to look at in a perspective of a formula. So we have right here we have a, a to the power square and b to the power square. So we need to know about, we should know about formula. So a square minus b square. Let's look at this. Uh, let's learn a formula. a square minus b square equal to a minus b. Yeah, and times a plus b. But I write it in a new line. So I hope you understand it because I don't have enough space. So a plus b. Ok, let's apply this formula. We have a square minus b square a minus b times a plus b. I write it right here in a new line, so I have a lot of space right here. So we have like 2 to the power 8 minus 4, yeah, and times 2 to the power 8 plus 4. We still don't use any calculators, it's really great. Ok, right here, 2 to the 8, it's not like a huge number, it looks like 8's power, but 2 to the 8 is not a huge number, we have looks like 256, I guess, if you don't trust me, you can easily multiply 2 by 2 by 2, 8 times, but I, I know it, I look, it looks like I know it, so we have 256 minus 4 times 256 plus 4, brilliant. Ok, we don't use our calculator, ok, let's do this, we don't need it, so right here we have 252, yeah, 252 times 250, uh, 260, yeah, so times 260. Okay, what we're going to do next, we don't use our calculator, we have like a huge, huge value, but we don't need to use our calculator, let's solve this without any telephone right here. So 252, let's write as 250 plus 2. And 200, 260, let's write as 250 plus 10, okay? In this way. And right now multiply in parentheses by parentheses. So we have like 250 times 250, then we have like plus uh, 2 plus 10, we have 12 times 250 and plus uh, 2 times 10, we have 20. So let's add it, let's add all of this. So we have like, I write it as right here, so I write uh, as uh, 62,500, so it's our 25 times 25. Then we add uh, to this, we add 12 times to, uh, 250, we have 3000 and plus 20. Okay, I write it like that, look like that, I hope you will understand it. And right here I write our answer, so we have 65520, 65520, 60, uh, 65000 and 520. This is our answer, and as you can see we solved it completely without any calculator, it's really great. It uh, makes you proud because we solve it without any calculator and it's not like a 100, one, uh, 200, 1000, it's uh, 65,000 uh, and you will solve it without any calculations, it's it's really great. So I hope you understand this explanation, I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures, so thank you for your time, have a great day and see you in the next videos.